Go. Mission Control has confirmed New Shepard has cleared the tower on her way to space from West Texas. Go, baby, go. You can follow along as she speeds up towards space. You see there at the top right corner of your screen. The bottom left corner of the screen is the altimeter. We're just about at max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the rocket. Confirmed, and she continues to punch her way to space for the fifth time, this rocket. A nice clean burn on the BE-3 engine. Following from this outside desk, a beautiful trail as she launches up towards space. We're looking for about 335,000 feet today for a max altitude. All right, those 38 payloads in there, they're starting to, they definitely by now have felt those Gs. They come on gradually. You peak at about three Gs on the way up. Our next milestone here, Miko, main engine cutoff. The engine's gonna cut off, but it's gonna continue its ascent to space, both the booster and the capsule together. Main engine cutoff is confirmed. You can also see in the top right corner of the screen that the speed is coming down. Separation is confirmed. At that point, if we were up there flying in space, we're gonna let you unbuckle, turn those somersaults. I'm definitely doing a superwoman across the cabin. There you go, you can see the two distinct craft in your screen. Capsule on the right, booster on the left. Those payloads in there Right now is when they're getting their nice, very clean micro Gs. This new Shepard rocket, based on the trajectory, gets really nice clean Gs, which is great for these experiments. All right, still, still accelerating up. We pass the Kármán line, the internationally recognized line of space. That's at about 330,000 feet. And we've hit Apogee, you see now that the speed went to zero, it's now speeding up again as the craft are coming home. Unofficial altitude, 344,000 feet or so. We're going to actually uh, confirm that number for you. And after the mission, a couple hours after the mission, we'll give you the, the official statistics. <laughs> 